Hello and what is up YouTube Cliff B here once again playing Scrap Mechanic. Now a while back I made like a video that's probably one of my most popular non-tech related um, videos. Actually it's not my most popular non-tech related video because that would be Portal. But yeah, it's a video that surprisingly got a great number of views even with me in this bit of a downturn. And that was the land ship. So without, rock, without further ado, I present to you the speedboat. Because, you know, after you have like a gigantic land ship, you need something smaller and more compact. And what's better than a freaking land speedboat? I'm not sure if there's another name for a speedboat or whatever. But as you can see, you know, this pretty much sell like if, if like, I <laughs> sell. This pretty much acts like if it was, you know, a proper, like, seaworthy ves vessel. Like, you know, it's a bit drifty because of the currents. It's, you know, floaty. It has, like, floaty movements. Every little wave and bump kind of spins it around, makes it nauseous. I even got a horn on it. <laughs> what a mighty fine horn. And there you go, people. And if I want, I can press forward to speed up. And what's cool is, like, you know, because of how the thrust is situated, once I let go of W, which I'm letting go right now, the vehicle has, like, natural drift because of, you know, inertia. Which is awesome. So, you know, I can press forward right now to go forward. I'm turning via the suspension bug, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm turning this vehicle. Because, trust me, if you ever make a rocket vehicle, don't ever try to turn with your rockets. That's not going to work says that and looks like they made a rocket vehicle that turns into rockets. But yeah, as you can see, bada bing, bada boom. And you know, like once it hits like a big wave, it like, you know, goes a little bit airborne, but comes back down. And you know, it just looks awesome. As you can see, it's like a true speedboat made for like the 2%. I mean, look at this. We got fine oak wood. We have, um, freaking anodized aluminum or aluminium depending on what side of the country you are we have like freaking marble like who has marble on their boats man this is marble genuine marble then we have all these lights to make it fancy 100% leds by the way and it's like freaking look at this engine man that's like i don't know one two three four five six Seven a phase seven engine in this beam. Look at the size of that fuel tank. Like this thing is just guzzling through it. The two percent must love this vehicle. And of course, you know, you got that one driver's seat with two seats in the back for you know thing one and thing two. Wink wink nudge nudge. I like you got these beefy engines in the back here. Like look at those sizes of those tubing, you know, fuel is going through this machine, man. Like look at the size of those tubings and whatnot. You even got like engine lights on them, and it's like bottom, it's like behind thing one and thing two, so they get ignored with it, but you don't. And like, look at this, there's even clear separation here because you know, thing one and thing two is behind you and below you, how they should be, both physically and metaphorically. Point being, it's like this is a vehicle made for the two percent. Oh my gosh, I sound like a douchebag, but speaking of douchebag, everybody know jet fuel can't milk douchebaggery. But yeah, as you can see, it's a speedboat, it's awesome, it turns, I'm pretty sure this is not how a boat is supposed to turn, but, you know, it's awesome and floating when you're scaring the crap out of thing one and thing two, and you're causing, um, what's it called, suspension big, um, suspension bridge effect? Yeah, suspension bridge effect, where it's like, because you're scaring the crap out of girls, their heartbeat goes crazy. And like, if you're the only one around and you have the opposite sex or sometimes the same sex, depending on the sexual orientation of said female or male, but it happens mainly in female, that's why I say female, then they think they're in love with you, but really they're just scared out of their mind because they're on an unstable platform. So, you know, like with how well this vehicle handles, you know, you're definitely causing that suspension bridge effect. I'm stuck on a bit of river raft draft here and just keep turning and keep turning this vehicle can only move forward by the way uh, uh don't turn that thrusters on okay so note to self thrusters have a huger hitbox than what seems to be their actual hitbox but you know the existence of vehicle that just goes over everything you know it's made for the two percent it has 
fantastic liftoff. Look at that. Humongous tanks. It's a V7 engine. I don't even know. It's better than a V6, but it's not quite a V8, so you can get hit with a gas go to attack, so assumingly it saves you some type of money. You're not pretty sure this thing gets like one mile per tank or something. So, you know, it's just an amazing vehicle. And, like with all my videos, because it always degrades back down into going out to the edge of the field and showing my vehicles just traveling across the bumpy terrain that is, I don't know, this barren wasteland out there on the edge of the world. After doing like a cool drift, because, you know, boats drift, man. Speedboats drift, okay? And now let's zoom out to the maximus and let's look at it from the side like we always do. Man, this thing looks uncontrollable like heck. Oh boy, I would not want to be that person in this vehicle. But yeah, so guys, if you like this, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. And, you know, I'm Cliff B. I'm siding out. Awesome drift right there. Bye, YouTube. And cut the engines. And there we go. Bye, YouTube.